Karst is IU's newest supercomputer. It's a replacement for the Quarry cluster, and it's a resource that's going to be available to any student, staff, or faculty member on campus at any IU campus. It uh, continues IU's long history of open access to computing resources, and we want researchers to leverage this system to be able to get additional grant funding, uh, to use it for their, um, their high throughput workloads and departmental workloads. Quarry ran approximately two million of these jobs on the system. And so we envision Karst to do even more than that and to be even more important for researchers. Karst will help enable next generation research. Uh, one of the important groups that has used Quarry and will continue to, to use Karst is the Center for Cell and Virus Theory, led by Peter Ordeleva. Uh, Peter's doing research into next generation uh, nanoparticles that will hopefully lead to new, more efficient vaccines uh, for diseases and viruses that don't have them. The other really interesting project is NASA's Operation Ice Bridge and our partnership with the Center for Remote Sensing of Ice Sheets at the University of Kansas. So they currently use Quarry to do all their data processing of uh, synthetic aperture radar, basically measurements of how thick the ice is in Greenland and in Antarctica, as well as sea ice surveys. And so they do all this processing on Quarry today. They'll continue to do this processing on Karst and this helps us better understand the ice dynamics and uh, our ecosystem, uh, how it changes over time.